Hi, so in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a domain name to your Blogger blog website. Now you can use Blogger as a blog or you can use it as just a regular static web page. Um, we're not gonna cover that right now, but we're just gonna link or purchase a domain name to go with your Blogger account. So we are gonna go into our Blogger site so just go to blogger.com. And from there, you can see that you need to be logged into the correct Google account. So on the top right, you'll be able to see if you're logged into the correct Google account. And once you are, then on the top left, there's a lot of uh, different blogs that I have that I manage. So if you have multiple blogs on Blogger, be sure to collect, select the right one. And then once you have that selected, go to your settings on the left hand side. And then you'll be able to see that information from your blog. So there's basic information here and then there's privacy and then there's publishing. So in the publishing section, this is where we're going to add our custom domain. And my original blog address is lindaweiniger.blogspot.com. That is always going to exist. So whatever you signed up, or whatever you use when you signed up, that's what you're gonna need, um, or that's what it'll always be. So if you ever gave somebody that domain, it would always take them to your blog. But this custom domain, you can actually choose whatever name you want for your domain and link it back to this blog address. So it's kind of like a forward redirect. Uh, so let's go ahead and click that. So since I've already purchased my domain and have linked it, it shows here. But I'm gonna show you just really quick what happens when you click that you would just go into buy a domain because after you see the pop-up you can click buy a domain and then should pop up here in a second and you get a list of um, available domains for the name that you type in here so i could type in if i want to switch it up to linda's designs most likely that one's already taken so that's going to give me a lot of different options here um, so I could do like Linda's designer or that's not like really great domain, but, um, basically you're going to get a lot of different ideas for your domain. So you could, if yours is not available. Okay. So apparently Linda's dot design is available. Um, but if yours is not available, then you can kind of get creative with your domain name. Um, also I used to use GoDaddy for my domain names and no longer like using GoDaddy because they try to charge you 99 cents for like the first year when you first sign up and become a first time customer. But then every year after that, they gouge you, always surprises. So like 99 cents turned into like $20 a month and then $27 a month. And it just kind of keeps going up and it's ridiculous. And so, you know what? I'd rather just pay somebody more dependable like Google $12 a month or $12 a year to register a domain. So that's just my two cents on that. Um, you're obviously good to go with whatever domain names or wherever domain company you want to register your domain name with, but I recommend Google domains. So um, since mine is already purchased, I don't really need to uh, click buy, but once you click buy, it takes you to a different page where you put in your information like to check out or uh, name, address, things like that. And then it will automatically link your domain that you're purchasing to your blog. So that's really nice. If, however, you do not purchase a domain through the buy domain link here, then what you wanna do is you may want to go to just domains.google.com, uh, google.com here. And again, be, be logged into your account in Google. And then you can click on get a domain, a new domain on the top left, and then type in the domain that you want. So my cool new domain.com. That one's probably taken. Yep. So then you just pick the next one that you like and you register it there. And then when you're done registering it on Google domains, then you would go back to your blogger page and you would enter it here into this custom domain section because you've already purchased it. Okay, so hopefully that provides good information for you. If um, you have any questions at all, um, 
just let me know, post it in the comments. And if you have a video request that you would like, let me know too, because I can take a quick video for you, show you how to do it. Um, so thanks again for watching.